wind is all around us. We feel its gentle relief on a warm summer day and see its fury at the height of a ferocious storm. We see the weather changing our landscape in the face of the harsh reality that is climate change. But what if there were a way to harvest the wind, to use this abundant resource to create energy and mitigate climate change? If we're trying to reduce carbon emissions and trying to achieve net zero, then we've got to rely on renewables. For us in Massachusetts, our biggest resource for renewables is offshore wind. Offshore wind is making a splash in New England, but it isn't new to the Bay State. For more than two decades, plans for turbines like these have been under discussion. Nearly 20 years after developers proposed the Cape Wind project in Nantucket Sound, a project that was eventually scrapped, offshore wind is now up and spinning. 15 miles off the coast of Martha's Vineyard, 62 turbines are being built for the Vineyard Wind Project. Nearby, eight other developments have wind energy leases. But it's not just southeastern Massachusetts. In 2022, the Federal Bureau of Ocean Energy Management began gauging interest in offshore wind projects for the Gulf of Maine. Massachusetts has been called the Saudi Arabia of offshore wind. And within the United States, Massachusetts probably has the best wind energy resource offshore compared to any other state. Many of these developments are already permitted and under construction off the coast of New England. Of the nine local projects, Vineyard Wind is the furthest along. One turbine is in the water and the remaining components are at the Port of New Bedford, waiting to be shipped out. Vineyard Wind CEO, Klaus Moller. The Wind & Wind project is going to build the first real utility scale offshore wind farm in the U.S. We are kicking off the technology, the harvest of the green energy, but we are also kicking off this industry. Vineyard Wind is a partnership between offshore wind developers Copenhagen Infrastructure Partners and Avangrid Renewables. Right now, Vineyard Wind 1 is under construction. Vineyard Wind has 62 wind turbines and each of our uh, wind turbine is rated at 13 megawatts, 806 megawatts in total capacity. That means powering uh, 400,000 residential and business customers uh, in Massachusetts. The offshore wind turbines are three to four times larger than the onshore wind turbines we're more accustomed to seeing. Each of these uh, blades we have three of blades uh, in each wind turbine. is as big as a football field from end zone to the end zone in like Gillette Stadium. And each of these towers are as high as the Eiffel Tower. But when you put everything together, imagine like the biggest commercial plane, which is like an Airbus A380, right? It's three times bigger than an Airbus A380. So, the scale is massive. Avangrid COO Sai Oitan says the project is complex. Years of permitting, financing, and both onshore and offshore construction. With the entire vineyard wind development coming in around $4 billion, the stakes are high. We spent hundreds of millions of dollars to understand the site characteristics. We've done like surveys. Uh, we basically uh, tried to understand marine mammals, endangered species, birds, everything. And uh, basically New England area, especially Massachusetts, is one of the best places in the world to build uh, offshore wind farms because of the depth of the sea and also uh, the wind speed. Offshore wind projects are not welcomed by all. There are concerns surrounding marine life and the impacts on the fishing industry and even the geography of the ocean floor. Developers say they've conducted proper studies to ensure no harm will come to the waters around the turbines. But some environmental advocacy groups have concerns. We're just flabbergasted that they could propose such a huge project. 
and, and not just in our waters, but from the Gulf of Maine down to North Carolina. It's one of the few remaining places where the critically endangered North Atlantic right whale winter, it is teeming with life. And they're putting these um, huge turbines. And one of the reason why size matters, because the bigger the size, the bigger impact on the ocean and on the ocean floor and the habitat there. But policymakers say offshore wind is here to stay and is about to become deeply rooted in this region. It uh, is, is the quickest and the fastest way to you know, create an economy that is not only good for creating jobs, but also a sustainable economy. So much to think about. And the blades for the vineyard wind turbine were made in actually Charlestown at the Wind Technology Testing Center. It's the largest uh, wind turbine blade testing center in North America. Uh, they test them for strength, for durability. Uh, but they may actually be running out of room. These blades keep getting bigger and bigger there on Boston Harbor, but they may get squeezed out. They may just not have enough room. All right. Up next, coexisting at sea.